at this point, it's basically a wrap, man. What I mean is, next stop destination. Excuse me. Next destination, eternity. You see, you come through this thing one time. When you first got on the train, your father was riding your mother. Right? That's when you first hopped, hopped aboard the train. Your mother, your father was riding your mother. That's when you got on the train. Then after that, you came through the bus stop, meaning you hopped off the train. And the next stop is, des is the next destination is eternity. You will never be the person that you are today. It's a wrap. So all you learn and all you learn and all you don't learn in this life. Hey. I don't know what to say to you because unlike school, see, getting held back comes with consequences. But but in this life, you don't get held back. You just you fail when you don't learn what it is you need to be taught in this life. You see, I'm trying to get my words together because there's a lot of people around me right now. You see, this is not like school where you flunk and you repeat the fifth grade and you do it again and you graduate to the sixth grade. Uh-uh, it's not like that. You lose out on this thing, it'll cost you your soul. Now, I'm not talking about HPBs. They repeat. They repeat this thing. They the same people. They keep changing and they keep coming back. Those are the same uh, souls when you think about HPBs. But what I'm talking about is people like us. We don't have second chances and we come through this thing once and if we don't get it right, we fucked up. Because we got too much to be fucking up. To whom much is given, much is required. You see? Even as I make this video right now, I'm just outside, it's people around me, but I'm not even in the same location with them. Even though they are around me physically, we not in the same location. I'm literally somewhere else. You see, the mind is where you really are. It's not where the physical is located. You can be somewhere, but not somewhere where your body is resting. Your mental can be in another mental space. Projected out somewhere else. On a higher plane of information. That's where I'm at right now. In this life, I have graduated beyond the things that I see around me. When I look at people now, to me, they just like 3D holographic projections walking around me. Because I don't see any type of 
similarity between me and the people that's around me. And like I said, I don't have other chances to get it right. I just got a one shot deal. I'm not worried about motherfuckers around me because like all those people you see running across that baseball field, I can guarantee you they not on this left side of the brain level. I'm at the point I can say these things with no regret. I can say these things without sacking without second guessing it. This is what it is, people. Once you figure out the HPB system, you realize that you are in prison. And the only thing you can do in prison is study, read a book, exercise. I'm using ordinary prisons as a metaphor. When somebody goes into prison, some people go, in, go into prisons and educate themselves, they exercise, they study. That's the point I am at in this HPB prison system. I'm just educating myself, learning more and more about how it operates, how it all comes together at the seams, and then learning, to, learning how to tear it apart from the seams. You see? So what I'm writing right now is like an escape plan. This is a blueprint for you. This is a escape plan. We're sitting in a prison cell and just writing in our journal. How do we escape? How do we avoid them? Like breaking out of Alcatraz. When you coming up with your escape plan, you don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Or should I say, you don't let your you don't let your le your right hand know what your left hand is doing because this is left side of the brain I avoid people I don't I don't have conversations with people I'm done with that I'm serious it's like it's a waste of my time it's a waste of my effort and I don't have time to waste I don't have energy to waste Cause like I said, this is a one-time deal. <laughs> Every action that I do from this point forward, it has to have meaning to it. You should be saying the same thing. My endeavors in life, it has to be spiritually elevating me to the next level. Because even though with all the information that we know, it's still tons of things left for us to discover. <laughs> Trust me, none of us know everything. As much as I have unraveled about this HPB system, it's still more to it. And as I write this book, it's still coming to me. And the world that you see around you, it doesn't change. It's the same thing. It's placed under the illusion of difference. It don't change from day to day. The only thing that can change is your mentality, your view of the world around you. Like I said, where I am at right now, my physical location, I am not here with these people. They all synced in. Even if they appear to be strangers to each other, they not strangers. They all on the same level. You, you even know that. If you go somewhere and you see a lot of people <clears throat> and they walking around 
<coughs> and you might not know them, if they are not on this level, then they they all know each other. Because they all on that stupid level together. We the ones who be the strangers. It's not them. They all know each other. The fact, the fact they know each other is explained by the very fact that we still exist in this world. This world is made up of ignorant people. The definition of a fool is somebody who does the same thing repetitively and expects something different to happen. Since we've been on the face of this world, people have been doing the same thing. Having children and expecting a different result. They expect something different to happen and it never does. The world is stuck in a spin cycle. It's stuck in a spin cycle. And it's the same revolution, day in, day out. I just decided to jump from the merry-go-round. I got dizzy aboard the merry-go-round, and I decided to jump. And when you jump off a merry-go-round, you might scrape your knee. Remember you was a kid, and you was on a merry-go-round, and somebody was turning it around? Kids nowadays, they don't play like we used to play when we was coming up. We we went to the park and, you know, we got on a merry-go-round. And remember you would jump because you got tired of it or you was getting dizzy and you jump. And when you and when you and when you hit the ground, at first you were disoriented because you were spinning. And when you get off the merry-go-round, the world around you was just spinning around. Then you get your bearings together. You get yourself back together. You dust yourself, you dust yourself off real clean. Then you stand up and you walk away. That's how it is when you're leaving their system. It's a few bumps and bruises in the beginning, but you dust yourself. Patch up your wounds. You might scrape your knee at first. People won't understand. It's a little heartache and pain having to leave, having to leave them. No pain, no gain. But when you get yourself together, guess what? You gain something. What you gain is the ability. To understand that you could do it. You can walk this path by yourself. That in itself is an accomplishment in life. Getting back to the first, getting back to the first. Quintessence of everything, which was what? All alone. That in itself is a accomplishment in life. Learning yourself by getting away from everybody else. Then you find out you don't need them. Once you get to that point where you don't need people and see, here's the thing. It's so easy to go back. It's so easy to go back. That's why it's so easy to ignore things like this that I'm saying. Because it's always people around you. It's always 
another day of the illusion of difference where a new situation will come up but it's really the same old thing and then you'll say to yourself uh bump bump that stuff left side of the brain saying this new situation is going to work out for me because it's a new situation not realizing that you are living under the illusion of difference you are living in a universe that's based on a spin cycle so leaving the pack is the most mature thing that a person can do now leaving the pack it doesn't necessarily mean going off into a cave somewhere it doesn't mean that remember these things i'm saying are metaphorical leaving the pack means you can be in a situation like me right now surrounded by people but yet i'm not amongst them i'm not connected with them i have nothing to do with them i see them but i don't see them i'm invisible right now i'm invisible and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to use a word people don't use th that often anymore. Mucking around with people. Mucking. Whoever used that word. like Mucking around with these people only gets you into a fucked up situation. Because every situation is the illusion of difference. It starts out good. But it ends up being the same thing. And then you left feeling like a fool, feeling regret because a fool does something repetitively and expect a different result to happen. That's the definition of a fool. But one thing that you can do that will always give you a great outcome is being by yourself. That situation will always equal peace. It will always equal peace of mind. And it doesn't require effort. Once you get off the addiction of people, achieving nothingness is the is the most effortless thing to do in the world because you break free from the addictions of them you break free from having to feed from their titty of acceptance because that's all you're doing when you around people you're still a baby you're still nurturing that that emptiness just like a baby it needs to be around its mother all the time so that's just a physical uh, metaphor to a spiritual understanding getting away Growing up spiritually, learning how to be at peace with yourself. And that loneliness, that loneliness is really you, it's your contemplation. It's your contemplation. It's when that other part of you can speak to you. The other part of you that's lying dormant when you're around a lot of people. When you you can't think in this world. It's not designed for you to think for yourself. It's designed for you to be a part of their program. You see? So acquiring that nothingness, that nothingness state of mind. That's where it's at. That's when you have obtained.
true wisdom, true enlightenment. Once you learn that, I'm telling you, it's nothing like, just, just imagine, you wake up in the morning, right? You, you don't need to do anything. Once you brush your teeth, wash your face, and then you just free all of that stress, worry, and all of that stuff. It comes from trying. You got to come to a point in your life where you're not trying. Just stop trying, period. Somebody might say, that sounds like quitting or giving up. No. No. No, stupid. Why would you keep trying to bend an iron bar with your bare hands when you're not strong enough to do it? Why would you try to enter something that wasn't designed for you to enter? Just kick back. Give it up. The biggest lie... We've been told is to never quit. Sometimes you should quit. Sometimes it's all right to quit. I've quit on many things. If it's not useful to you, why continue doing it? I have quit on life, basically, because... It ain't designed for me. And until you say that, you're not going to rebuild your true purpose. If you if you a person that got this type of information, then the reason for that is so that you can go out on your own. And just start something new. Unless you want to waste your time trying to teach people. I'm not doing that. Even when I do these videos. I just do this for us. This is just edification conversation. I'm not trying to change nobody. We, I don't, and I don't even think I have to say that. Because we have that understanding. That's not what the Jaguar community is about. We And we apply it to our life So we can have a stress free life As much as possible As we can Yes I understand that every now and then They gonna pop up in our pathway But Everything on this channel is about Is geared towards eliminating The necessity For these people That's, the, that's number one And to focus more upon ourselves, Like the video I did when I was speaking about love. Love is created for self-survival. All of that, wasting your energy on, on other people. And you always end up heartbroken. Because you're using that energy for something that it wasn't designed for. Love is designed for your for your own spiritual and physical survival. You see. But you get these things as you as you grow, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of false teachings, it's a lot of charlatans. Spread light to the world. Be a beacon of hope to everybody. I'm not put on this earth for that. Now you can do whatever you want to do with your life. I'm not here to be no beacon of light. I am here to be a beacon of light for my own life. I mean, I can look at a person and tell if they a complete waste of time. It don't take much. Once your spiritual lens is developed, you can just look at people and already figure them out. So why would I go against what I see in a person and try to change fire into water? You can't turn fire into water. 
So why would I do that? Once you see something, they don't have the properties and the elements of what makes up a person like me. I see it. I feel it and I know it. And you know it. But see, what happens is when you hang around these people, that ignorance is contagious. So they'll start saying things opposite of what I'm saying. And the more you hang around them, they may say a few things that sounds legit, but it's the but it's the it's the the opposite stuff they say that will that will reel you back into that world. Which I'm done with. And if I wanted to play that world, if I wanted to play that ball game. It's easy. I already gave y'all the blueprint of it. Ego, ego, money, and sex. You need ego to compete with people and for your own personal drive to compete with people for money. And you need sex to create other humans to keep this thing going. And then it's held all together through violence and manipulation I've said it time and time again These are the teachings in the Jaguar community It's held together by violence and manipulation And whoever implements The most violence and manipulation Upon humans They run the world That's all it is That's a simple, blue, a simple blueprint I could play that game But it's pointless to me because I'm not trying to gratify my ego through materialism and sex and things like that. I'm not trying to do that. I just want to live and gain more spiritual knowledge. That's it. Eventually, if it's possible, I'm declaring it now. I want to get to the point where I can actually levitate. Well, I can actually, if somebody trying to attack me, hold my hand out and they'll freeze in their tracks. And I'm going to obtain that. That's what you should be trying to get at. And look, it's no practices to get to that level. I believe that if you just continue to focus on the spiritual knowledge like that. All of those type of things that I that I said, it'll just kick in like this. It'll kick in like clockwork. You'll be able to look at a person. And if they was thinking to do something to you, you could send some mental force to them that will stop them in their tracks. Whether it's an animal, a dog, a bullet, a bomb, whatever. I feel once you get the spiritual knowledge going... You also create a shield of protection around you. Controlling the weather. I know it sounds far out. I know. But y'all, you got to understand. I don't know about you, but I still got a piece of that umbilical cord left from the time of the grape falling away. And if you, I feel like, that DNA from the time of the great falling away, we can make it activate. It's, it's about to be 2020. And I feel that's a, that's a significant year, man. Because when 2020 get here, literally, and I've been speaking 2020. So when y'all go back and look at these videos, when you see this video in 2020, you're going to be like, yo, he was already on it. I've been talking about it. Our eyes will already be open. So 2020 is nothing to us. We've been talking about 2020. But yeah, I just want to leave y'all that. Tell me what you think in the comment sections. Um, I could have kept going. I might do another video. Who knows? But this left side of the brain, add us on Instagram. Tell me what you think. Um, support the channel. We got a Patreon. Um, hit the likes button Hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet If each one of us would turn on Another person to the channel 
We could double this channel like that. Start recruiting people. Somebody that's worth recruiting. Start recruiting people to the channel. Just, just, if you bring in two people a week, just two people, we could double. If everybody would participate and bring in two people a week, we could double this channel by like 2,000 a week. We got to do that because the bigger we are, the harder the impact. And I want to leave y'all with that. This left side of the brain, tell me what you think, signing out.